Today, I'm going to be demoing the newly released Test Manager role on the 3D Experience platform. The Test Manager role provides the tools necessary to establish comprehensive validation and verification strategies for products, plan their execution against their existing project plans, and monitor the progress from a single dashboard. One can use the Test Manager to organize both virtual simulations and physical tests in one place painting a complete picture of your VNV strategy. Here, you're looking at a dashboard to perform a drop test validation of a BME product, which is a projector. The validation is against the requirements to resist a standard drop test case. Against the drop test validation test specification, we're creating a new test execution to perform the actual virtual simulation of a drop test. So this is where you're going to take the BME product and perform a virtual drop test simulation. You will drop the, the assembly of the product that you're going to use to perform the virtual drop test simulation and assign it to the person that will be executing the, the test. Now you can move the virtual drop test execution to to-do work, which will automatically update on the project planning task to the user that was the, the test execution was assigned to. So here at the the user is looking at the same dashboard where they can see that the uh, drop test execution assigned to me and the I need to use the assembly to perform the drop test simulation. So here once it's assigned to me I move it to the in work so that I can start working on this and now I'll use the uh, assembly to open it in the 3D experience native client to move forward with my actual drop test simulation. Uh, this is the actual uh, client where I'll be performing the uh, setup of the drop test simulation. So uh, you have a mesh that's already assigned. I can use the assistant panel to go through the steps to create the actual virtual drop test here. So I'm not going to go into detail of this, but once I've uh, finished setting up the simulation, you can run it and we can look at the results, which will be a drop test. And then you can finally, once your simulation is done, you can drop the results back into the uh, project execution plan. And then that way, the deliverable, which is the uh, drop test simulation itself is available for people to consume. Now you can move it to the approval stage where the actual uh, project manager can go ahead and look at the results and approve the test that was conducted. Um, so you can see that it automatically um, moves into approval stage and you can set the status status based on the requirements if it passed or failed the test. And now you have the full end-to-end -end process which can be looked at from a traceability standpoint to ensure that the full digital thread is maintained throughout the process from the requirements all the way to the actual simulation that was used to make sure that the requirement was met. So here again is the advantage of the 3D Experience platform where you can use a test manager role to look at the end-to-end -end process all the way from requirements till uh, what simulation was used to ensure that the requirements were met, whether it's passed or failed.